Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use vid for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you actually use vid? Well, vid is a great platform wherein you'll be able to create professional looking videos really, really fast. Now we all know all the other tools that is available out there that are paid are sometimes kind of hard to use because there's a lot of things that you could do here. But vid make things a lot easier for you and a lot more simpler. Like for example, you only want to create a video, a simple grading video that you want to uh, have it looking professional. Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to visit their website. So it's going to be vid.io and from here, we need to view first what we could do and what are the pricing available in vid.io. So currently, vid is actually for free. So you could use vid for free, but with some limitations. So in vid.io, under their pricing page here, you'll be able to see their different pricing offers. So currently, we'll be using the free version here, which offers a storage of 2 gigabyte for editing and subtitles of 30 minutes and 1 gigabyte upload limit. So you could upload up to 1 gigabyte of footage that you could use for your editing uh, needs now they also have the basic here which is around $12 a month and in this case you have the following off uh, features that you use like storage is around 5 gigabyte subtitles 720 a uh, minute per year also have the, the option to remove the watermark and the full HD exports and the export videos up to 25 minutes so you could make a lot more or longer form of videos with the basic plan here now they also have the pro version here with more features as well as the business option here. Now in this case, we want to start creating our account. So at the top right of your screen, you should see a sign up button. So go ahead and click on it. Now in the sign up button, what we need to do is we need to provide some information about ourselves. So in this case, if you want to do this manually, you could go ahead and choose the sign up with email here by entering your email here and clicking on this button. But if you want to make things a lot faster for you, like what I did, I actually use my Google account here to connect my vid account into my Google account. And from there, you just need to answer some questions and you'll be able to access your account immediately. But in this case, since I've already created my account, I'm just going to log in. So in this case, I'm going to sign in with Google here since this is the way that I created my account. And from here, let's just wait for it to let me log in. But once you log in into your account, immediately you'll be able to see this UI here. So first things first, we first have to familiarize yourself what are the things that we are currently seeing here. Because sometimes it might get overwhelming if you see a lot of things happening immediately on your screen. So in the home section here, you have three buttons and three options. So first is you could go ahead and start creating your project wherein you'll be able to add your videos, add filters, or just basically create your video. Now you also have the option to record a video. So if you want to record a video, you have the option to use your, record your camera, record your audio, record your screen, or record your screen and camera, or your camera and slides, or, or your slides. Well, in this case, if you want to use this one, just click on the option you want to record. Like for example, you want to record your screen here. Just choose the screen that you want to uh, use. Like for example, the Chrome tab here, or your window, or your entire screen here. So if you want to perceive that, you could go ahead. But for now, let's just go ahead and view the other features that we could do or use as well. Now, you we also have the option here that allows us to create an avatar video. Like for example, you don't want to show your face and you want to create a high quality video where someone is explaining some certain topics for you while creating avatar is the thing for you. Now, in this case, you could choose your avatar here. So they have tons of avatars that you could use with different ways of customizing them like for example if you want to use this avatar go ahead and click on it once you click on it you could go ahead and add your script so once you've added your script here you'll be able to basically add this into your project and they will talk for you so in this case just add your script and they will be do or they will do the talking for you but in this case since we're only using the free plan here there's a limitation so currently there's a one minute max or one minute 
limit on the usage on this specific feature on our free, uh, free plan. If you want to add more minutes on generating your content or AI avatars, then you have to upgrade your plan. Now in this case, let's just go back into here and we want to start creating our project. Now in this case, if you want to start creating our project, just click on the create project here. Now also they have other options here. So just to give you ideas before we create a project, we have our templates here. Like for example, you want to rapidly create your video and without thinking about it, well, you could use their templates here. As you can see, you just need to edit the text, add videos and add other elements to further customize it. They also have the brand kit here, but this is for pro and the trash uh, section here wherein you'll be able to see different projects that you've recently created or previously created that you've deleted. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on the create project here and we want to start creating our project. Now immediately it's going to say or ask us what type of project they want to create. Now we have the upload option here wherein you'll be able to upload your f personal video and you also have the option here that says black canvas wherein you'll be able to start creating a video in a blank canvas and you also have the record, brand kit, dropbox and link as well. They also have soft videos here and AR avatars that you could use but for now we want to use the blank canvas. Also, like what I said before, you could go to use template here and basically choose a template that you want to use for that specific project. But for now, let's just go back into blank project here and just click on blank canvas. Now from here, immediately you will be redirected into the template page. Now, if you change your mind and you want to use a template, go ahead and choose a template here. But for now, we want to discuss what are the things that we see here. So first in the left section here, we have our search wherein you'll be able to search for anything. Like for example, if you want to search for a specific uh, element or tool or a very specific uh, project or video, well, you could use the search for anything here or search options. We also have our settings wherein you'll be able to set the color of the background. Like for example, you want to change this to white, go ahead and choose that. And here you also have the option to change the size of the video itself. So depending on what type or what plat what video you are creating for uh, for what platform, you could choose whatever here. Like for example, if you want to make this for TikTok, you could go ahead and choose TikTok or for YouTube, you also have the YouTube option. Now we also have the option here that says translate voice and meaning you'll be able to translate your voice but currently this is in beta so uh, it's still in the testing phase but if you want to try using it you could go ahead. I also have the duration here so currently it is automatic so meaning whenever the length of our video here will be determined on the clips that we'll be entering here. I also have the frames per second here so by default it's going to be set to 30 but you change this to up to 60 frames per second. Now here we will be able to see the version history wherein the saves of our file or our project is stored. Now if you want to add media, we could go ahead and click on media here and you have the option to upload. So you just need to drag your photos or videos here. The option to record, text to speech, clone your voice, which is something really cool. Like if you want to use your own voice for your projects without uh, having to pay anyone, you could choose that and use this. But this one is has limitations on it. Like for example, if you record your voice here, you need to uh, basically um, record your own voice. You need to read something out loud and it actually expires after one hour. Now in this case, if you want to use this uh, feature further, you need to have the pro version or the upgraded plan for this one. But for now, let's just go back into media. Now here we have the Dropbox here and the link as well. And you also have the option here to use stock video. So uh, as we all know, sometimes finding the right stock video for you can be frustrating. So they integrated a way for you to use stock, stock videos here. Like for example, we want to add a video here. So how do we do that? So first things first is you need to search for the video. So go ahead and choose whatever category here. Like for example, we want to use this video here. So what we need to do is we just need to press on it and you just need to drag it into your workspace here, which is the center here. And that should be uploaded into your workspace. Also at the bottom here, you should be able to see your timeline. So in here, your canvas or your main workspace is going to be where the video is being represented and where its visuals on it is going to be. Now at the bottom, the timeline is it will show the current length of that video and some layers on it. So like any other video editing software, you could add layers in it. Like for example, add another video on top of another video. You can do that. 
So just to give you an idea, I want to add this video here. So I'm going to drag it into our workspace here. And once we've done that, it's going to start the process of uploading it into our project. And once it's uploaded, you should be able to see it in here. But yeah, sometimes it might not be that fast to load up. So it might load fast, it might load slow. So just wait for it. But once it loads up, you'll be able to edit it. Now in this case, uh, you should be able to see your video now. Now if you want to change the length of your video, you need to select that video and you can now start resizing it. Like for example, you need to drag or press and drag on the ends here and basically put it in where you want it to end. Now if you want to split your video, like for example, you want to take out a very specific section of that video into another section, you could go ahead and press on that video, click on the option that says split here and as you can see, we were able to split our clip. Same thing, go ahead and split it to the other end. And from here, once you select on that video, you can go ahead and press it and drag it into other sections as you can see right now. Now, in this case, if you want to move it around, just press and hold on it. As you can see, I am able to move it around. Now, another thing that you should consider here, if you want to basically resize your video, you should look for the dotted or dot options or icons here at the ends of your video and once you press and hold on it and drag it around as you can see we are now able to resize our video and access other things like for example if you want to add animations transitions or even adjust the volume and the speed for it now other options that you could add here or ch uh, change is the opacity round corners and adjust copy arrange adjust streaming and a lot more so this is going to be the tools that we could or the things that we could change here. But at the left side, you should be able to see the same thing. As you can see, we also have the round corners, the speed here, and the audio, the audio for that specific clip. Now, in this case, depending on what you select here, you'll be able to change some certain aspects about it. Like for example, if you want to remove background, green screen, remove silences, and a lot more. Now, once we added our video here, what are the other things that we can do here? So we also have the option to add audios if you want that. Like for example, text-to-speech, voice-overs, a voice clone like we did before, and stock music that you could use here. Now, if you want to add subtitles in your video, just click on the subtitles option here. And from here, we have the option to automatically generate captions and the manual transcribe here. So I do have to warn you, the auto subtitles sub option or setting here is only available for uh, the upgraded plan here. So if you're planning to use it. Now, also I have the option here to add text. So in this case, they have a free uh pre-edited text here that you could use like for example you want to use this one so let's just drag it into our canvas or our work space here and that will be automatic added as you can see right now there's the animation on it now in this case we also have the other elements here like for example we have emojis sound waves and progress bars here and shapes now they also have memes here like uh, GIFs you, you could also start drawing on it if you want to and the featured option as well like for example, I want to add an emoji here. Let's just drag it into our video here. And from here, we could go ahead and start resizing that specific emoji if we want to as well. So I ac accidentally moved this around. Let's just click on this one, press and hold and move it around as well. Right here, you can make it a lot bigger, even change some aspect on it. Like for example, color here, if you want to change that, as you can see right now. Now, if you're done with your editing, you could go ahead and click on the done at the top right of your screen. And from here, you have the option to export your video and even translate, translate the voices as well. So you can even change the quality here as well. So by default, it's going to be set to standard, but you could choose the uh, HD option here. But again, it, it's under the paid option or pad. Now here, if you want to export it, just click on export video and your video should now be ready. So the video itself will have a water watermark on it, at, as you can see at the top right. So if you want to remove that, again, you need to upgrade your plan. Now in here, if you want to share this to other people, you can go and click on the share button here and you'll be able to add uh, editors into your workspace. So in this case, you, you ha also have the option to invite other people to work on the same project and help you on that specific project. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.